Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to force your pepper plants to produce all season long indoor. The method will work with hydroponic plants as well as plants that are grown in soil. This plant is a orange scotch bonnet and it has been producing all season with my constant trimming. But it's gotten to a point now that the plant is really slowing down so it's not producing as much as I would like. There are still a lot of fruits on here but for the purpose of video I'm going to sacrifice this plant and it really doesn't matter too much because in a month it'll grow back fully and it will produce once again the trick to allowing your plants to produce all season long is to keep trimming it so the plants are full right now and when you notice that a branch is no longer putting out buds you can go ahead and cut that branch off uh, let's just say this branch here doesn't have any more flowers and is not producing anything else so what you want to do is just cut that back and you just cut it all over the place and when new branches form it'll start to produce new flowers just like that but today I'm going to cut the entire plant down and then I'll track its progress and let you see when it comes back fully and let's just start cutting it right now Let me pause the video and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's all cut down. Okay, here we are. This is what the plants look like. I saved a few fruits from the plant. This is still good. The darker ones are the ones that are semi-mature. It just hasn't turned color yet. But it's still good to eat. And this is basically what the plants look like now. There's really not much left. You want to leave a few leaves because those leaves will allow the plants to produce photosynthesis. So don't cut everything off and make it bare. Just leave some leaves left just like this. You can even trim the tree even further because trimming the plants this way will allow it to produce new side shoots. In about a month or less, it'll start to grow back fully and you see the difference. And then the tree will start to produce again because it's in fruiting mode after it starts to recover. But anyway, I'll track this progress and I'll let you see what happens when the plants come back. Today also, I'm going to trim this plant as well. This is a plant that I grow in soil. This one is a little bit more unique because I'm doing half soil and I'm feeding hydroponic nutrients from the bottom. And this is also a plant that I grafted a bunch of stuff on. So as you can see, here are chocolate scotch bonnet from this plant. And then this is white devil's tail. And then on this side, I have um, white seven pod. And then this shoot here is a chocolate reaper. Here's what the plant looked like currently. Uh, it has some fruits that's starting to turn, but I'm going to go ahead and pluck those off. And there's a few more back here. I'm going to just trim everything off and start over. So let me pause the video and I'll cut the plant down and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Here we are. Both plants have been trimmed down completely. There's not much of it left. I saved a few fruits. I'll do a periodic update and I'll let you see when it comes back. That's all for now. Alright, today is two weeks later. After we cut off the entire plants, this is what they look like after two weeks. There are much more leaves now. and They're starting to come back. In another two weeks, this would be much fuller and you will start to see fruits or buds developing again and for this plant this one is even crazier all the leaves are coming back and I did something new to this plant I added four more grafts the grafts are here this one is a Brazilian ghost and then this one here is the MOA scotch bonnet and the other two is the same basically I took two branches and cut them into four and I grafted onto this plant so this one is going to look real crazy when it comes back all full and stuff. On top of that, I'll show you something really cool. You see there's one single bud right there starting to form. So this plant is going to produce as soon as the leaves come back fully and the branch extend a little bit more. But that's the progress in two weeks. I'll show you guys another update in the next two weeks. Okay, today is week number five and my plants are starting to make really good recovery and these plants are putting a lot more shoots out lots of leaves and tons of buds already and some of the buds have started to form into flowers and they're opening so in a few weeks I will get fruits for these plants 
And the graph that I showed you guys last week are now also uh, becoming part of the, the tree. It's healing nicely and you can't tell that those are graphs anymore. So there's some right here. And the graphs are putting out buds as well. See there? And there's buds everywhere. So I will get lots of fruits for these plants very soon. And this one as well. There's just buds all over the place. Making nice recovery. So there you have it. Um, making your plants produce all year long is very simple. It just takes some constant trim back when uh, the plant is no longer producing. As I show you in the, in the very beginning of the video. And now here's the progress. Uh, there's really not much more that I can show you except that these will form into fruits and then you will have fruits very soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. I hope you enjoy the experiment and try it out for yourself. It's very simple. Once your plant is no longer producing buds, just go ahead and cut it back. And uh, you can cut one a few branches at a time until the plant is no longer producing at all. Then you can cut the entire plants off and then feed it well. Give it plenty of light and it will recover and then you will have plants that produce all season long. So pretty much every three months you get fresh fruits indoor. Anyway, uh, that's all for now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it below and thank you for watching.